Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3D Tinkerer channel. So today I'm going to show you how to quickly export your un your Blender models over to Unreal and then afterwards I'm going to show you some of the troubleshooting methods for some of the com common problems I've ran into. But we're going to quickly show you how to do this so I don't waste your time. So you see here I have a little crate object and it's really easy to export your models. So here I have it selected and just make sure you click on it. Or if you have a lot of objects in your scene that you want to export as one file, um, you just press A. On your keyboard and then you go up to file up here you go down to export and FBX is a good uh, option for Unreal um, it's what people usually use for Maya so and then you'll see this screen right here so up top you can choose the path for your file where you want it to export out to and then down here is your export settings so you really don't have to change much if you're just exporting a basic model um, I usually check selected objects so that you only export the selected objects. That way you don't export like cameras or anything weird like that. You can also specify what objects. So mesh will really make sure you don't export any like odd objects. Um, you can leave scale at one. Um, we'll come back to something like that later. And that's pretty much it. Um, once you have the name you want for it and you have the location, you just click export here in the top right, export FBX. And then that's it. Um, you see here now if I go to the file that I saved it in we have a crate object um, and if I hi hover over it it is sorry let me uh, go to the properties you see it's an FBX file and I can actually open it with Windows 10's 3D object view and if we give this a second you can see there's our crate right there and all you have to do is go to Unreal um, and then you simply can drag and drop the object into your project. Now, there's going to be a lot of options. If you want to tweak any of these, you can, but for just a basic prop, you can just hit import. Um, obviously, if it's a skeletal mesh, this will usually be checked by default, you know, if you have like an armature or anything like that. But if you just have a prop, you can just click import. And then it'll come up with an error from Blender Exports. It'll say no smoothing group found in an FBX scene, but you don't it'll just automatically fix that for you or ignore it. It isn't that big of a deal. Um, so you can just X out of that. And here's your crate. Now, you'll notice it didn't create a material. If you want it to create a material when you export the object, you have to make sure in Blender with the object selected, um, you go over to the material panel right here and you wanna make sure you have some material and you're gonna to wanna to give it a name like crate material. And then basically it'll auto make one for you in Unreal, but I mean, you can just quickly make one yourself. So you'll see here, I'll quickly go to, uh, where is it, materials and textures. And I'm going to make a new material, call it crate um, underscore material. And there you go. So basically, all you have to do is take your texture. So I'll grab some of these textures that I made in substance for this crate. I'll let it load a bit. Just give it a second. Okay, so now we have our textures in. Now, because this is a very special map with um, the ambient occlusion, metallic, and roughness all laid layered over it, um, this is something you really have to worry about. This, you only have to worry about this if you're coming from a substance export. So I'm just going to uncheck the sRGB button right here. Um, that'll basically make sure that it actually works for my purposes. I'm going to hit save. I don't have to do that with the other ones. It auto it automatically recognizes the uh, normal map and makes it one in Unreal, so that's pretty nice. And all you have to do, if you do have textures for your object, is go into the material, um, drag them in, and in this case, I'm gonna let them load real quick. You just take your RGB for your color texture to the base color. Um, this is the normal map, so that goes to normal. And then we're going to take the blue for this one to metallic, I believe, green to roughness, and red to ambient occlusion. I believe that's the right setup for this texture, but shouldn't be too big of a deal if we get the order wrong. This is just a uh, tutorial, so. Okay, and you can see there's our mangled texture, and all you have to do is go to your object, and then you could just drag the texture up here, it even highlights it for you. And there you go, there's your textured object. So it looks very cool. Um, and then you can do whatever you want with it. You can drag it into your scene, etc. So that's it for exporting. Um, so now we're going to move on to the troubleshooting phase of the video.
Okay, so this will be the troubleshooting portion of our video. Um, so I'm just going to go over three of the common errors you might run into. Um, first off being, if you have invisible faces like this, it just seems like for some reason Unreal isn't rendering your object correctly, but you can see the faces in Blender. Um, the most likely problem is that your normals are incorrect. So you'll see here if I fly inside the cube, or the crate I should say, you can see that our texture is still there, it's just in the wrong direction. Um, so basically all you have to do is reset your normals or manually adjust them, flip them, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. So we're going to jump into Blender real, real quick, um, and I did change it for the export. Um, so it's really easy to fix your normals. If it's just a standard prop, it's not like a room interior. Um, all you have to do is tab into edit mode, um, hit A to select everything, and you can go up to mesh up here, normals, and recalculate outside. And that'll basically flip the faces that are not correctly facing um, the, the, basically it'll flip the normals that aren't facing the right direction. Um, there's a couple ways you can actually check this in Blender, so I'm going to undo that fix real quick. Um, if you come up to the top right here and you click this little drop down arrow, and this is in Blender 2.8 only, um, if you click the drop down arrow and check uh, back face culling, it'll treat the faces like a game engine would and will render them in the direction of the normal. So you see that's where our problem is. So I'm going to hit A to select all the faces, mesh, normals, and recalculate outside. You can see our mesh is now fixed. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to turn off back face culling. Um, and it's really easy to update it in Unreal. You don't have to drag and drop it again. Um, all you have to do is go to File, um, Export, FBX, and you can use the same settings as before. We're going to export it. And if you leave the file, if the file name's the same, you'll notice real quick, um, I'm going to show you again. Uh, it'll show red up here, but that just means it's going to overwrite um, that existing file, which in this case we want because it'll fix the file. Um, and all you have to do is come back to Unreal, and you don't have to re-import it, like I said. So if you just right-click the prop, you can go up to re-import right here. Um, and there you go. You see it updated it, it updated the object with the correct um, normals, and everything's cool. So um, we're going to move on to the next common error you might run into, which is lighting errors. Um, so I don't have an example for this for you, but um, it's very easy to diagnose and fix. Um, so Unreal obviously has baked lighting, so if you want to optimize your game, you um, hit the build button up here, or you hit the drop down arrow and build lighting only, and that will build, um, it'll kind of like paint on the shadows to, your to the textures of your object, um, so it doesn't have to calculate in runtime, right? Um, but if you notice when you when you bake it, it, there's a lot of like black smudges on your object and it isn't baking correctly, or you might get a pop-up error saying something about overlapping UVs in Unreal. That basically means your UV is incorrect, um, and it's pretty easy to fix depending on how complicated your object is or how deep you went into your object without properly UV unwrapping it. Um, but basically, if you come into Blender right here, there's a UV editing tab at the top. Um, and if you don't know what UV editing is, I have a video that talks about it. Um, Please watch it if you have no clue what I'm talking about because this is I'm not going to explain in this video. Um, but basically, to fix your UVs, you just want to make sure if you hit A to select all your faces, you want to make sure that none of these faces are overlapping unless you want them to for any reason. Um, say like you're repeating a panel or whatever and you want it to have the same texture. Um, but even in that case, you don't want it to be overlapping because basically Unreal will take this texture map right here, or this UV map right here, and it will um, apply shadows to these various um, UVs. And basically, if the faces are overlapping, it's going to apply that shadow multiple times and you'll get those black smudging. Um, so basically you just want to come into your object and make sure these aren't overlapping. Um, if you properly um, marked all the sharp edges on your object, you're just going to press U and then click unwrap and that'll fix it. Um, since I imported this from a different project, that won't work in this case, but um, it's very simple. You just basically want to make sure that none of your UVs are overlapping. So. That's it for lighting errors. Um, anything else might be because you know you don't have your object made like Unreal friendly, um, but we're just talking about exporting in this case. So I'm gonna kind of end it there for the lighting errors. Um, another common problem is your object's just too big or too small. Um, in that case, you just you can you have a couple options. You can just scale it in Blender. That's what I usually do. Um, another option is when you're exporting. If you go to File and Export, um, down here you have the scale and you can manually tweak it here um, but usually I find it's easier to just export it in Blender um, and if you're wondering why it is when I scale it it's exporting um, in this like certain manner that's because I set the uh, origin down here 
to uh, the bottom of the crate. And that's because when you place it in Unreal, it'll kind of snap to the floor based off the origin. So just as a quick note, if you do want to do that, um, it's really easy. You basically just want to line your object up with the um, the bottom of the uh, the X and Y axis axes, I guess. Um, and make sure your 3D cursor's in the center by uh, hitting Shift C. Um, you'll notice if it's over there, that's not gonna, that's not what you want. So you're gonna hit Shift C, and then with your object selected, you go Object uh, Set Origin to 3D Cursor, and that's how you do that. And then when you uh, scale it, it'll also scale it based off the um, uh, the origin. And if you're still having scaling problems, it might be because you haven't uh, applied the scale. So for example, if I make it really big, um, and then I hit here, let me go back to the layout panel. Um, so if I make the crate really big, then hit N, you'll notice on the right here there's a scale factor, and you'll see it's a scale of 4, but we want it to be 1 for the X, Y, and Z. Um, so basically the default scale is this size. Um, so the way to do that is, I believe it is Alt-A, no, Control-A, yeah, you press Control-A, and then it says apply right here, so you can apply this, the location, the rotation, scale, blah, blah, blah. In this case, we want the scale, and you'll notice now this is 1, 1, 1, 1. So you'll notice if we tweak it now, it'll, or let's set that back to 1. So you'll notice if we scale it now, it actually um, is getting smaller or larger. So. So yeah, that's it for scale basically. Those are just some of the common errors I run into. Um, if you have an error that you think I might be able to fix, feel free to leave it down in, below in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you stuck around for the whole thing, even if you didn't need to, um, you're awesome, thank you. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a good one.